I am going to Costa Rica for a work trip. I travel a lot for work. I travel a lot in general. I do not like to pack a lot. I love taking just a carry-on, but last year I went to Madrid and made the mistake of taking this like tiny carry-on that was full. And then I'm in Madrid, of course, there's like amazing things to buy and I have no room. So I um, invested in one of these cool bags that can convert from a carry-on to a uh, checked bag. And so far, I love it. This is the bag and it's in its fully expanded state because I'm bringing a lot of stuff for the group. But I also got these amazing packing cubes and I can't believe I've never used these before because this organizes everything so beautifully. Basically like all my outfits for the week fit into this one little cube. This one is all the stuff for my colleagues. So I'll be able to basically empty that one out, um, which will free up space. And then I can just slot my shoes and slippers in there. And then the top compartment, I have my overflow. So I have a little bag with socks and bathing suit and underwear. And then these, this is like my um, workout clothes and raincoat. So yeah, the only thing left to put are my um, toiletries and boop. So basically this top compartment here can fold down and then you just have this bottom part if you want just the carry-on. It's amazing. One evening while I was in San Jose, I went out for a drink with my friend Sam, who's also one of my colleagues, and it was the first time in a long time that I've had really good quality one-on-one -on -one time with a girlfriend. And as a result, of course, the conversation was deep and helpful and enlightening. And I was so grateful for that time. So the next morning, I got up early before we were all set to start our day. And I sat down to journal some of the insights because there was so much that came of that time. Normally, I write in my journal, but I had an overabundance of notebooks with me for this trip, and I didn't want to be laden down with more, so I jotted some stuff down in on using my computer, but I use this amazing journaling app called Day One. I highly recommend it. It is very, very cool. And even for someone that prefers to write, I really enjoy using it. So that's what I was doing here, just recording my thoughts and insights and Sam's incredible input and guidance from our conversation that evening. I will share more details about what we talked about and what came of it in a future blog post or vlog, but for now I am letting those insights sink in and applying them to my life and I always like to spend some time with those things actually in motion before I share them out into the world. <laughs> <laughs> so most of these uh, farmers, they own their own uh, coffee plantation. como la volcánica pero también tenemos la continental.
ahí porque tiene mucha mucha vitamina C es antioxidante y con cinco uchuas que nos comamos al día vamos The time in Costa Rica went way too quickly and here I am after flying back to Florida on the train heading home and finally sitting down to do some drawing on that incredible day on the mountain. I just wanted to capture it in some kind of little collage form, all the sweet memories. Drawing on the train was not ideal, obviously, because there is lots of movement on a train, and I wasn't super happy with what I was creating, but that's okay. It helped me get at least my ideas down into my sketchbook, and then when I returned home, I was able to draw something that I actually liked a little bit better. Something that is definitely true for me is that I like to draw when I'm alone and I feel like I have time. So even though I was in beautiful Costa Rica, I was not really ever alone because I was with my work team. So I didn't actually get to make a lot of art, but I did get some sketching of my colleagues in while we were having some serious discussions and I'm grateful to them for allowing me to draw them. And then I did a little bit of drawing when I got back, and I think there's probably some more that I will do over the coming weeks. Here it is. These are my colleagues, Nello and Sandeep, and this was a little palm tree that was right outside of our window in the conference room where we were meeting, so I spent a lot of time looking at it. And then on a different day, I drew Samantha and Sara. They have very serious faces because of course we were working and having very serious discussions. So um, that is why they don't look particularly happy, but we were happy while we were there. And Sam has a tattoo of her cat Faku on her arm. So of course I had to include him.
because I loved the toucans so much, I drew another picture of them. Just really focusing on the incredible colors. It's, you know, seeing these animals in nature, they don't even look real. It's like, how can something this strange and incredible exist? Love this house.